Welcome to the Catamount Football Show with Coach Kit Carpenter. I'm Bill Mayo, and this week we'll take a look back at the game with North Forsyth and also talk about the upcoming game with the Carrollton Trojans. So stay right here, back with more Catamount Football in just a minute. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging. Your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Industrial sales after hours service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. All right, we're back to the Catamount Football Show here, and Coach Carpenter, let's talk a little bit about Friday night. I did not know that we had scheduled Wisconsin. You know, uh, it's, it's what we get for, uh, for listening to Martinez uh, between him and Marlowe. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, you that know, had to be the biggest high school offensive line we've seen in a long time. From top to bottom, it has. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I didn't really even realize they were even 7A until, uh, you know, they kind of got on the schedule and looked at that, and, you know, and you just see – such a difference between where we are and where teams in 7A really are. It's interesting. I had people say, well, didn't you all know they were that big? I said, well, you know, when you watch the film, it was deceiving. <laughs> it was very deceiving. And <laughs> they did not look like you know, that. We felt like they were big, but you know, I guess everybody else, they played were giant also. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So offensively, um, again, they had, a, they had a big defensive front, moved around a lot. They had a really good scheme. Um, Moved the ball some on them, but not, not as consistent as, you, as we would like to have done, not able to sustain the drives against them. It is. You know, we have some really, really bright spots in there, but they, they came in with a great game plan. They felt like they could run the ball on us, which obviously they did very well. But, but if you will kind of go back and watch in that first half, they really, really slowed the game down by not snapping it as fast. You know, when we, by the time we went back into halftime, we had been taken one hour uh, and for the, by the time the first half was over. And so when – when it's like that, they did a great job of keeping our offense off the field. Yep. I think one of the highlights of the game was, was J.J. Uh, and his place kicking and punting. He just really seemed to come on to his, into his home on Friday night. I mean, we see it in practice, but that was a great, great It job. is, and that's a great chance for him to demonstrate the hard work because when he says he works hard, he, he really, really does work at it. And, you know, he – and Coach Woods actually works with him too. And so we know right where we want to be in, in, in the yardage and, and right where it was that night was it right in his sweet spot. And so that was a great opportunity for him. So I, no, I noticed one thing. we On defense, you guys were throwing everything you could at them. And 
What are some of the adjust- I know We went to a four-man front, a six-man front. I mean, we, we tried to do. We did, and, and really kind of where the breakdown came in is we weren't doing what we've been coached to do. Yeah. And, and when you fail to do that, it doesn't matter whether they're big or small, you're not going to be successful. Uh, and when we meet with the guys and, and kind of explain that to them, right. uh, they're going to understand that, man, if I'd have just done my dang job, because all we had to do was get off the field, mm-hmm. and our offense will do what they need to do to score. They mm-hmm. really, really – uh, we're afraid of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, got an open week coming up. Talk a little bit about that. A uh, week off before we play Carrollton. What's kind of the schedule? What are your thoughts going into this open week? This, this, it's, it's really good for us. You know, it comes at a great time. You know, we put in a lot of work over the summer. It's kind of like we had three kind of little preseason games, and we're getting ready to roll into our region now. <laughs> we're really, really top-heavy. Uh, you know, we've got some great games coming yeah. up. Uh, and so this off week allows us to heal up. It was a very physical game. And so we'll take, we took Monday off and then we'll take Friday off also. And then we'll get back into the swing of things. Have three good practices, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, and really, I think we were talking, kind of use that really more to work on ourselves than so much Carrollton, right? That's right. And so what we looked at and what we talked about as a defensive staff today is we've got to get back and, and really go back and work on some fundamental things and really make sure that those are where they need to be because in order for us to have a chance against Carrollton, we've got to be very, very disciplined on the field, during plays, and really at each snap. I think there's certain skill. When you look at both both sides of the ball, there's certain things. You guys working on your tackling, working on taking on blocks for the right way and, and not running upfield, just all the things. And, you know, for us on offense, get our double teams better, get, get our combo blocks down. Just like you say, the basics, and, and I think that'll – help us more going into the region schedule than anything we could do preparing just solely for Carrollton, right? Hands down. And, and because we have so many guys going both ways, it's an opportunity for everybody to get a little bit better. Right, absolutely. So right here, we'll be back here with more Catamount football after this break. If you are selling or buying real estate, we are here to help. Colwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding the Dalton community home since 1974. Please contact the number one real estate company in Northwest Georgia for all your real estate needs. All right! Oh yeah, baby! Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. Board of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public School teachers. 2018, Ms. Risley Lee Dean. 2019, Mr. Freddie Fuentes. 2020, Ms. Ris Teresa Hensley. And 2021 winner, Ms. Ris Jennifer Sumner. Board of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! At Beautiful Smiles by Design, we are proud of our small town heritage. Located in Dalton and Calhoun, Georgia, we serve our community with pride. We have extended hours, including early and late appointments, Plus, we are open Saturdays for your convenience. To see more of our amazing transformations, please visit us on www.beautifulsmilesdentistry.com or visit our Instagram page. For all your family and cosmetic dental needs, come to Beautiful Smiles by Design. Welcome back to Catamount Football, and we've got George Woods. Uh, George, welcome to the show. Hey, nice, nice to be here, Bill. It's my first time. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the youth program. You're involved with, with uh, the Hammond Creek team as the head coach, but also involved with the, the youth program. So let's start with the young guys first and kind of go through 
that set up, and then we'll talk about the sixth and seventh grade teams. Okay, so basically we have a youth program called Dalton Cats Youth Football, and it's basically your kindergartners through fifth grade, so five years old through ten year old kids. That so play. how many teams is that? Is that six, seven, eight, nine, five teams? Is it it's, five? It's, well, it's normally five teams, but this year we combined nine and ten. The league okay. didn't have the, the participation, so we have a six U, seven U, eight U, and ten U team. Okay. Now, how many kids approximately on each team? Well, uh, generally around 20 to 25 is, the, okay. is a good number, and uh, it fluctuates from year to year. Talk a little bit about how that league structure that, that, that those kids play in and, and where you're getting the coaches and, and all that good stuff. Okay, so the league is played mainly in the Chattanooga Valley area. The Northwest Dalton have a team, and uh, Gordon Lee has had a team in years past. Mainly well, teams out of the inner city area, Chattanooga, mm -hmm. Uh, River City Bills, Chattanooga Chiefs, uh, Howard South Chattanooga Cowboys, uh, Chattanooga Giants, different teams like that. Uh, the structure is basically a six to eight game regular season and then three rounds of playoffs. How about your coaches for each team? Where do you, where do you find? I know that's critical is to have the, have the right guys coaching, coaching those teams. Where do you find your coaches? A uh, lot of our coaches are former players or dads that are committed to the program that are uh, – you know, want to be out there and want to want to add to it. So we we try to qualify them the best we can mm -hmm. and uh, get the right the right matchup for the kids. Yeah, I, I know they enjoy uh, playing. It's a little different. Uh, I, th I think kind of unique for them to get to go and play in Chattanooga and some of these away games, right? The, I know the kids enjoy that part yeah. of it. They do. They like the camaraderie of it. They like the ride up. You know, we take them to eat pizza and different things after the games. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of fun things with them. Uh, plus, the competition's really steep. And uh, it's, a, it's a big game every week. So if somebody wants to get involved with that youth organization, uh, talk about the calendar a little bit, when they would, when they would sign up. I, I know the games are going on now, but obviously when would they sign up and, and kind of what's the, the next stage for somebody to jump in opportunity? Usually uh, we need to hold a sign up in the spring. We have a seven-on-seven -seven league for the 10-year-olds, mm -hmm. and that translates into the middle school. Uh, usually in May, April, May, we start running our Dalton Cat sign-ups, and okay. we'll run them through – second week of July and then that that'll be committed to the teams right and then they play through probably what October is it through the end of October the first week of November is usually the Super Bowl okay excellent excellent so now let's talk a little bit about you've picked up some new duties uh, with the Hammond Creek team talk about the structure of that and, and what you guys are doing there so at Hammond Creek we have a sixth grade team and a seventh grade team uh, the teams are coached by me obviously George Woods is the head coach of both teams our defensive coordinator is Matt Evans. Uh, our defensive line coach is uh, Jeff Gazaway and David Hall. Mm -hmm. Our DB coach is uh, Parker Adams, who was a former player last year. And then on offense, we have uh, Scott Houghton, and then former coach was uh, Sean Hammond. Right, right. So an un yep. unfortunate story there with, with Coach Hammond and the COVID situation, just terrible loss for, for everybody involved, right? Yes, sir. So, Well, um, talk about – now, so they're in a – they're in a different league. They're in this uh, more of Atlanta League. base, right? Yes, sir. So explain what that league is and, and, and how that's structured. Okay, so the GMSAA is a, one of the strongest leagues for middle school football in the state. It's basically divided into three classifications, an A, B, C division, and a private school division. And it's basically based off the size of your school, and then it goes like A is mainly 7A schools, B is five and six A schools, and C would be your single A through four A, and then obviously you also have your uh, private school division. Uh, some of our opponents this week will play Cherokee, uh, Walton, those type schools. We just mm -hmm. played Creekview. Uh, it's a lot of teams from our old region, right? It's basically a lot of the Cobb County regions what yeah. we're back playing in. Yes. So, how is this? How, how many games do they play, and and uh, kind of how how is that? How is that? I don't know if they have playoffs. How is that all structured? Okay, so basically it's an eight-game regular season. They give you an out-of-conference game at the beginning. So we actually played Cleveland and Boyd Buchanan. And then we'll play our eight-game regular season. And then once the regular season's over, they'll take the top four teams in each region and they'll battle it out for a, you know, a northern state championship. Mm -hmm. And how far? when does that finish up? Okay, the so the last game is the 23rd of October, regular okay. season. That's at home against Sprayberry. 
and then once that game's over, the next week they'll start uh, their first of three rounds of playoffs. I think one thing that's kind of unique too is the fact that the, ours is a school-sponsored team, but the majority of the teams in that league are not school-sponsored, right? They're they're booster club sponsored or parent-led sponsored. It's basically feeder program teams yeah. that you know they still have the recreation league, and then they have their feeder program and. That's why we transitioned our 11 and 12 U Dalton Cats teams into the Hammond Creek team. And we also mm -hmm. took our kids from the school and put them on there. So we're, we're one of maybe a handful of solely team-based, okay. school-based teams. Now also our eighth graders are in, that, are, are in that league as well, right? So we've got sixth, seventh, and eighth we have playing sixth, in, that, and eighth. in that middle school league. Yes, sixth, seventh, and eighth coached by Coach John Patrick is the eighth grade coach. Right. So. Uh, you guys, and normally you guys play what three games? They set it up where you have a sixth, seventh, and eighth grade game on the same day on on Saturday, back to back to back. They do. Uh, this week is our first home game, so it'll be sixth grade at Harmon Field at ten o'clock, seventh grade at twelve, eighth grade at two, and then we'll bring in a Dalton Cats team to play the four o'clock game each home game week. This week will be the seven U Dalton Cats team, and they're playing the Chattanooga Chiefs at four. So sixth grade at 10, seventh grade at 12, eighth grade at two, and then the Dalton Cats game will be at four. So got to, if you want to come out to Harmon Field, and <laughs> you can come out there for the entire day, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> and get, get, your fill of, uh, get your fill of football. You get all the football you want Saturday, and then you can go watch, watch your favorite football team at the 7.30 game. That's right. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. We certainly appreciate everything you're doing with Catamount Football and working with all those young guys. Thank you. Glad to be here. Stay right here back with more after these messages from our sponsors. We're super fired up down here at Cherokee Brewing, getting ready for another football season. Don't forget to come down and check out one of our 24 beers on tap. We got the brew keg going on. Also want to remind you that we do have a drive through set up behind the Oakwood Cafe so you can get your favorite chicken tenders without getting out of the car. Keep an eye out for a concert out at Walnut Hill Farm on the weekends this fall. And also be prepared for our Georgia grown produce boxes with Gathered Goods. We appreciate all your support and go teams this year. I hope everybody makes it to the playoffs. Woo! I'm Charles R. Hicks Sr. And I'm Chris Hicks. And we're the Transformers crew. With over 40 years of experience from brakes, AC tune-ups, oil changes, and custom rebuilt transmissions, Transformers is your number one automotive repair source. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility conveniently located here on Sugar Road, and we also offer financing for those unexpected repair needs. So come and check out the real professionals because we are the Transformers. Transformers Transmission and Complete All Repair Specialist. I'm relatively aware the modern world demands fast. My theories help to explain much about time and speed, but GigLink internet speeds go beyond to offer amazing upload and download speeds. Whatever that is. Now everyone at home can download multiple high-definition videos, send and receive emails, and surf the web with no loss of speed. Expand your universe. Data at the speed of light. Squared. Sign up today. All right, we're back with Catamount Football. We've got our player interview segment. Welcome to the show and introduce yourself, please. Jaguar Robledo. I'm a senior kicker, punter, number eight. All right, JJ. So let's talk to you first. Let's talk about that piece of jewelry on your right hand there. <laughs> Hold that up so the camera can see it. Tell everybody what that is. The state championship ring that we won last year for soccer. Yep. Pretty yes. exciting. Yes, sir. All Very right. Happy. Yeah, that's that's great. That that was number six for you guys, right? Yes, as a, sir. As a program. Yes, sir. That's, that's outstanding six. and fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about your role on the Catamount football team now as a kicker and a punter. So which one? First question. Which one do you like better, place kicking or punting? Uh, place kicking. I feel like that's that like fits me more. And I mean, I also like punting. I practice um, every day, all three kicks, mm -hmm. so I can like bring something good to the team. So let's talk about 
Friday night, you you hit a uh, uh, what forty nine yard field goal, pretty pretty big kick yeah. for a high school guy. So tell tell me about that and talk talk us through um, what's going through your mind as a place kicker and kind of setting up and and what all you do to. I mean, I mean, I've always I've worked hard on my kicking this off season um, for an opportunity like this. So I felt I felt pretty ready. Um, I have a lot of trust in Austin, mm -hmm. Brady, and the blocking. That's that your have. snapper and holder. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I mean, I trust them a lot. So that that takes um, that's a big part in in a kicker. Right. That we got to trust obviously everything that goes on. Um, and I felt I felt good. So how different is it learning to kick a football versus what you do in soccer? I mean, it, it was a it was something. Um, like different, really different yeah. for me. I grew up, I grew up playing soccer, and um, I joined football in high school, my my sophomore year, and I had a I had to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, a friend, Ivan, yeah, he introduced me to a lot. So, um, and now I know you're interested in kicking in college, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. that's a, be a great way to go to be a great way to go to college. Yeah. So let's talk about the the punting aspect of it. Uh, that because that's a totally different style and to, totally different um, skill. Talk to me about punt because you, you're doing a great job with your punting too. Yeah, um, in punting, um, what really matters is the drop. And once you get the drop down, and you follow through the ball. It's gonna spiral just how you want it. Um, the purpose of a punt is to like pin them deep and. The plan is to get them outside the numbers so they mm -hmm. would, they they won't return the ball. And I've noticed this year you're starting to get the ball up to go over and turn over. Yeah, it, you weren't you didn't do that in the past. Mm -hmm. So where did that come from? Is that just a function of a stronger leg or? I mean, it's it's a function of everything. I think, um, like I said, the drop has a big part because once you drop it and you hit the sweet spot of the ball, it just flies. So, I mean, I've worked hard to get that expect down and. Is as soon as it leaves your foot, you, do you know is it good, bad? I mean, yeah, you, you, you can, you can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. Once you hit the sweet spot of the ball, you just know. You get that. I get that little feeling, <laughs> and it's like wow, like. I that, that's a good one. Yeah. How about on a place kick? Do you know right away when you kick yeah. it if it's on track? Yeah, it's just, it's almost the same thing. You hit the sweet spot, you can feel it. Yeah. And then it just feels good. Talk, you think the the follow through? I've noticed. You know, you you really got a big leg sweep. Is it, is it the follow through that that gives you that? Yeah. That power and the and the targeting mm -hmm. yeah the follow-through really like it adds a couple yards um to your kick so yeah the follow-through has a big part in in kicking any any sort of kick the follow-through is a, a big part of it absolutely yeah. we're doing a great job and we certainly appreciate everything you do even though you kick balls at me during practice <laughs> that's all right we'll, we'll, we'll forgive that okay yeah. all right thanks thank for you. coming on thank you for having me stay right here back with more in just a minute Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com safety and commercial security experts fire sprinklers fire extinguishers fire alarm systems clean agent suppression systems backflow devices go catamounts asa the life safety company dad look i found a lost puppy well i'm not lost exactly but hey are you planting that tree wait where are the flags the paint didn't you contact 811 i've dug here before it's fine contacting 811 to have all underground utilities marked is the law and it protects us all here let me borrow your cell phone dogs don't use cell phones humans shouldn't dig before contacting 811 i mean woof. online or on the phone contact 811 at least two business days before any digging project brought to you by georgia 811 can we keep them <laughs> We're back on the Catamount Football Show, and we continue our player inter interview segment. Guys, welcome to the show, and introduce yourselves, please. 
Hey, I'm John Frank Patterson. I'm a senior, number 19, and I play tight end. And I'm Hezekiah Duncan. I'm a senior, I'm number 88, and I'm a defensive lineman. And a part-time offensive lineman. Part-time. Don't forget that. Yes, sir. So let's start with you, Hezzy. So tell me, first and foremost, your thoughts on being a senior. Uh, I know it's hard to believe it's yes. you guys are up, right? God, yes, we're at the top of the lo- food chain. You could yeah. say um, coming through and just fighting all through the years with the other uh, kids it's been through. Um, I mean, it's been a fun time, and I just can't wait. I mean, this is our last year, but I just want to mem- like make memories. Yeah. One of the things you, you started out I mean, as an offensive lineman for a while, then yes. they needed some help on defense, and you went over there last year, I guess. Yes. Tell me about the transition from offense to defense, and then and you still come back and work with us some on the offensive line. Too. Uh, well, the transition was different because, you know, I, I don't know the snap count all the time, and um, – that's kind of paralyzes some during the games. And, um, I mean, I like defense a lot better, even though offense was fun while, sure. while I was with you. Well, one of the things for you is, is you know, you're not a typical defensive lineman that you, if you open the reference guide, you don't see <laughs> yeah. 180 or whatever, 210 yes, pounds, whatever you weigh. Yes, so I know there's some advantages there. How do you use your quickness and to your advantage uh, when you're battling some of these big 300 pound offensive linemen? Well, it's mainly like um, they're really slow and you just use their hands kind of get around them. And then, um, I mean, you just got to kind of have an eye on where, what they're going to do. And at the line, you can hear what they're going to do. And I mean, they kind of give you just the plays when you hear when you just listen to them. One of the things, one of the moves you've done a great job of developing as a defensive lineman is, is snatching them, right? Yes. Talk about that a little bit, where that comes from and, 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 Go through that technique because you do a really good job. Of yes. That. Well, what I like is um, I like to like jam them first, and then once I feel them lean back, they'll start coming back after you, and then that's when you you feel them coming, so you pull them, and then you just rip off of them, and it, it just gives you the advantage because I mean they're they're just gonna fall on their knees, and then you just get around, and you have a wide open chance. And you don't have to be there. You're using their weight against them, right? Yeah. I think that's the thing. Yes. That is so it's all leverage. For you, I yeah. mean. You can feel the weight shifting around in their bodies as well as yours, mm-hmm. but you just gotta um, just feel it. I mean, it's more of like a feel thing. Right, right. Yes, sir. Uh, you you cross over sometimes and come over and play a little off- offense. So talk about that. So, uh, offense, I play guard, and I can also snap if I need. Um, I'm and here H-back. to and H back <laughs> anywhere. Jack um, of all trades. Yes, I'm here to help. I just want to uh, help the team and Absolutely. hopefully have a good year. That's a great attitude. Thanks for coming on. Yes, sir. John Frank, let's let's talk to you now. Same question about being a senior. So tell me about it. It's it's you know your your time your time is is here now as a senior. Well, you know, yesterday we were just freshmen. We were watch, up here watching Ja and Ketchum and right. Brant and the whole O line, you know. And then now here we are. How fast does it go? So fast. It's crazy. And you know. We're just here for a good time. We love each other, and yep. we're just out there having fun. So one of the things with, with Coach Long and our offense this year, we've really expanded the role of tight end, and, and you guys have started coming into your own. Tell me about, about your role in our offense and, and where you guys fit in the tight ends. Well, yes, sir. We, we started doing a lot more this year, a lot of run. We're starting to work in a lot more on passing, um, and it's been fun. We've had our struggles with it, you know, mm-hmm. learning a lot of new things, but – as a tight end group, we're really close, and we really love each other, and yep. we've gotten through it together. I think one of the things that I've seen, imp- one of the big areas of improvement I've seen with you is, is catching the football. Yes, sir. Uh, what have you done to, to improve that? Because there was a time when you struggled with that, right? I mean, and, and now you, you, you make a whole, whole lot of catches in practice. It's just repetition in practice. Right. Getting with Brady and Parker and just anybody that can throw you a football and just getting as many balls caught as what's, you can. What's the key to, to catching them? Just keep your eye on it. Yep. You got to have your hands in that diamond. I was going to say, you guys, I, I've noticed you guys are really doing a great job of catching with your hands and not catching in your body. I think that's a so, lot of young receivers make that mistake, right, of trying yes, to catch it in here. It's just, it's a, it's another feel thing, you know. Yeah, sure. You just got to, you it just click sometimes and you got to get an, it. Another area where you've improved is your blocking. We ask you guys, tight ends, to do a lot uh, in the blocking in the run game. So talk about that side of it. We've started doing a lot more in the run game and, um, I've worked with Jake Brock a lot, you know. Um, mm-hmm. He graduated in 2016. He plays center at Reinhardt now. You, Coach Bagley, Coach Cole, y'all all do a great job of teaching us the technique right. that we really need, where, where we have to put our face, where we need to put our hands, how we need to leverage everybody. Got to stay low, right? Yes, sir. Get yelled at on the sled when you're oh, out yeah. low. 
Big mama. <laughs> All right, well, certainly appreciate you guys coming on the show and everything you do for Catamount football and look forward to watching the rest of the year. Yes, sir. Stay right here. We'll be back in just a minute. Every community has challenges. But where others see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride. And strengths of Whitfield and Murray counties. To fight for the education, basic needs, and health of every person in our local community. We, we are, are the, the hand, hand raisers, raisers, game changers, and the problem solvers. United, we can create a community where everyone is part of something bigger than themselves. Be inclusive. Be, Be bold. bold. Be kind. Live united. Did you? Fifty-four years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us. And go Big Red. It was a nice night for football down at uh, North Forsyth and coming, wasn't it? It was nice. You know, it, it's, it was really a cool night. It's been mm -hmm. scorching hot for just about the whole season, but it was really nice. I, you know, they got a new field. Uh, it looks like our practice field. Yep. Nice venue. And they had the visitors. Uh, they had their home side in the sun, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. What a break. You know, you get worried when you get used to kicking the ball down the field, but we've done a good job of, of covering, and there's another great chance for us there. I was standing there. He just dropped it. That's good, you know. And so we had them kind of scouted out pretty good, and we felt like that they were going to come out and, and, and do some of this. What we didn't have them scouted as, which is hats off to them, is to come out and just – run the ball mm -hmm. uh, and so they've done a good job with that they ran the quarterback a bunch you know it's a it's a it's scary when they're when the biggest guy uh on our team smaller than the quarterback you yeah. know it makes it difficult and that tailback that number seven they had he was he was as big as their left tackle yes absolutely and here's a here's a good shot at him yeah, here. here he is you know and we we've got guys there and we've got a gang tackle uh there's at times the other night we had all 11 there and, and, and had a difficult time getting them down uh this is a great little play call on their part um they shifted over and had the little H back and did a little dump. Come back out on offense and take a shot at him. We felt like we could get behind him and just right there, Karim, right there, uh, want, looking like an interference, but we didn't get it. Yeah, they, they did a good job of kind of defending our people. And, and, and right there, Assad Tanner has done a great job all year at that corner. Uh, Coach Harris is really excited about him, and he shows it right there why. You know, this is another one of those things that, you know, we get all these guys there and have a difficult time getting them down. Very powerful. Here's a little wildcat play. Tyson gets outside, picks up a nice gain there, about 13, 14 yards. Yeah, he's done a great job from, from, from that position. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what makes it so scary is he throws the ball he so well. He does throw well. He yeah. throws as good as a lot of quarterbacks. He play. does. Uh, and he's comfortable enough to read. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he throws it to the backside, so that's good. Had a, had a guy come free rusher there, but what a, what a nice catch by, by Kareem right there. That's right. Well, it comes at a, at, a, at a point that we really needed something good to happen. Uh, it was great protection. You know, they, they did exactly like we thought they would do. They blitzed like crazy. Yep. Uh, we did a good job of picking it up, and then, you know, it's a great job by Kareem every mm -hmm. week. He, is re he really coming into his own as a receiver. Yes. 
Good job by Brady of stepping up in the pocket there on the rollout and another throw to Karim. Yeah, you know, we finished with respectable numbers in the passing game and even in the running game, you know, but when you give up 427 yards rushing, it, uh, that negates kind of what you do. Time of possession was a huge factor in this game too. Yes, and there's another good look at J.J. and what he does, uh, punting wise, uh, try to get him down there and get him pinned, great coverage. And so we don't really give him the opportunity to, to kind of yeah. return it. Good hard tackle. So it's 14-0 at the end of the first. You know, and this is one of those things we're saying that, uh, you know, we get there, we got it clogged up, it goes to bouncing, and uh, we're able to get enough people there on it. You know, we get a little bit of pressure. There's good coverage again right there as a side. Uh, and uh, Ethan Evans uh, there to help play on the post. Come back on offense, and this is a journey just being special. Yeah, you know, when you can run like that, the little referee said, man, that guy sure can run fast. There he is. <laughs> he said he'd given me, I'd given him a 25 yard <laughs> uh, cushion and I, he said I couldn't keep up with him. I said, you yeah, know, he can run. He turned it. We had a, we had somebody go the wrong way on the offensive line. We left the nose man free. See him running right there in the middle and Journey just <laughs> bounces outside and outruns everybody. Yeah, man, he can run. Great job. He is. Is he the fastest guy on our team? Hands down. He was 4-4 uh, laser, which probably equates to about a 4-2 uh, if you were doing it on a handheld. It's either, so it's either him or Charlie Patrick for the It, it is. It, uh, you know, it is. Yeah, Charlie was a little slow <laughs> out of his start, and it slowed him down. So that made it 14-7. Getting back in it. Great kick. You know, here's kind of a play they did all night. It was a great job right there of Adriel to really chop that thing out. And comes at a perfect time. We really needed a turnover at that point, and he chopped it out. And who's that, Bentley that got it? It is. I He's gotten it. a couple of them this year, hasn't he? He has. Between him and I, Coles, you know, they're, they're kind of like ball hawks. Mm -hmm. you know, if it's on the ground, he gets it. And you can see him right down here at the bottom of the screen. Takes on the blocker, and you see that arm chop. Right there it is. Good job. Yeah, that's really become something that you guys practice on defense is pounding at the ball, isn't it? It, it is, and you almost everybody kind of does, and you'll see them trying to get it out. And it, you're getting to the point now where you're telling the runner to go down. You mm -hmm. just get down before you lose the ball. So here we come on fourth down, a 49-yard field goal. He does a great job, and, you know, he get every bit of it. So right there, you know, any time that, that, that we can get points out of it, and it really set us up nicely. Uh, it gives you options, doesn't it, as a head coach, when you think, okay, we can, yeah, we can get some points from a little further out, maybe. So that's that right. Point. Good protection. Good snap, good hold, good kick. So that makes it 14 to 10. We're right back in it. They had a lot of guys that played both sides of the ball, too. They did. They had a bunch. They had certainly um, their skill guys do, and now I think that's what a lot of people, uh, you, you're almost to the point where you have to. That's some big linemen that went 63, played defense and offense. Yeah, I mean, this is a great tackle by Assad. You know, he did a, a, a great job of covering deep, but he can come up and he can tackle as well. This is one of your offensive linemen. Damian Vitale does a great job of really pressuring that quarterback. Nice job busting through there. Good move you put on Big 77 right there. Yeah, you know, I was hoping that was going to be a fumble, but, you know, yeah. his hand was coming forward. But <laughs> if you really look back at the coverage, you would see the coverage. Man, if he'd have thrown it, we might have had a pick there. I thought Luke was going to pop one. Yes, it's right here before the half. Yep. Uh, he's so dangerous while he's back there. Yeah, they don't have a lot of good options. You kick it to one or seven. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's not a good choice either way. Here's a pass out to him. We're running a little bit of our two-minute offense. We do a good job of kind of moving the ball down the field. Uh, another pass here to Kareem. Yeah, we wanted to get in position to either, if we could get close enough to kick a field goal or um, get down to it, try and throw a Hail Mary right before the half. Yeah, this is a great catch. Great, great concentration on the ball. It was really, really close. Um, he must have just been a little bit outside. So halftime, we'll go in and discuss what's going on and get ready for the second half.
Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging. Your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. If you are selling or buying real estate, we are here to help. Colwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding the Dalton community home since 1974. Please contact the number one real estate company in Northwest Georgia for all your real estate needs. Board of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public School teachers. 2018, Ms. Risley Lee Dean. 2019, Mr. Freddie Fuentes. 2020, Ms. Ms. Teresa Hensley. And 2021 winner, Ms. Ms. Jennifer Sumner. Board of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! At Beautiful Smiles by Design, we are proud of our small town heritage. Located in Dalton and Calhoun, Georgia, we serve our community with pride. We have extended hours, including early and late appointments, Plus, we are open Saturdays for your convenience. To see more of our amazing transformations, please visit us on www.beautifulsmilesdentistry.com or visit our Instagram page. For all your family and cosmetic dental needs, come to Beautiful Smiles by Design. Here we go to start the second half. We kick back to, uh, to Blanchard. Uh, and again, you can see how quickly he can get away yes. from him. Great field position to set up here. The ball almost out to the 40 yard line. That's exactly where you want to start. You know, he, he, there's Journey again. He's done a, such a good job of becoming a receiver. He really has. He, he, he has gotten so much better at that. And now, I mean, and he's, he's a legitimate weapon on, on a swing pass. And here's a little what J.J. was talking about. If you kick it to him outside the numbers, there's no chance for return. Uh, you know, this is a great job right here uh, of us just stuffing them, uh, getting our guys on them, slowing it down. But, you know, it's on. <laughs> when you get that close, it's inevitable. Especially when they have much, that much beef. It's good little pressure with. Uh, That's Isaac Medina, I think, in there. It is, yeah. Right. He's done a good job with us when he got out there on the field playing defensively. Here's another uh, tackle by Bulldog. Bulldog had a big night. I think he had 24 tackles. Uh, Did he really? Yeah, wow. but they had 64 rushes. <laughs> so, <laughs> had yeah, a lot of opportunities. They had a lot of opportunities, you know. So tackles per play is not real good, yeah. but but uh, he did a great job. You know, he, uh, Coach Harris is working on our field goal block, and we've got some guys that are really, really working at it, and eventually we're going to get one of those things. Good pressure. Oh, I thought we had a chance at that one. Yep. Good little delay, a little uh, wrap there. Uh, great tackle by uh, Rockwest Washington. You see how big they are. <laughs> you know, well, 25 is probably as wide as everybody else was tall. You know, they got to be sweating bullets when they see seven taking that ball. Absolutely. 
coming back here. Good throw and good catch. Yes. Good job sitting in the Kareem in the middle of the field there. It's good protection. It's right where you want it. You know, he just steps up into it and throws it, throws a strike. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to just try to get some momentum for the, the upcoming off week and, and have a you know get a touchdown in the in the fourth quarter. We just couldn't we just couldn't get it get it going well enough for him. No, we got a much got us a turnover there. Here's yeah. another great run by Tyson. You know, this late in the game, uh, you know the score is getting kind of lopsided. But you know what, our kids kept working at it, kept working at it, and it's going to pay off for them in the long run. Absolutely. We got our young couple of young linemen in there. Peyton Starling, freshman playing left tackle, and uh, Striker Woods, he's been playing quite a bit as a sophomore playing left guard. So it's good to get those guys more game snaps. It is, and you know, we're going to, as brutal as our region is, it's going to take everybody. We're going to need them, no question. So that's the way it ended up. We're super fired up down here at Cherokee Brewing, getting ready for another football season. Don't forget to come down and check out one of our 24 beers on tap. We got the brew keg going on. Also want to remind you that we do have a drive through set up behind the Oakwood Cafe so you can get your favorite chicken tenders without getting out of the car. Keep an eye out for a concert out at Walnut Hill Farm on the weekends this fall. And also be prepared for our Georgia grown produce boxes with Gathered Goods. We appreciate all your support and go teams this year. I hope everybody makes it to the playoffs. Hi, I'm Charles R. Hicks Sr. And I'm Chris Hicks. And we're the Transformers crew. With over 40 years of experience from brakes, AC tune-ups, oil changes, and custom rebuilt transmissions, Transformers is your number one automotive repair source. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility conveniently located here on Sugar Road, and we also offer financing for those unexpected repair needs. So come and check out the real professionals, because we are Transformers. Transformers, Transformers Transmission and Complete All Repair Specialist. Industrial sales after hour service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. I'm relatively aware the modern world demands fast. My theories help to explain much about time and speed, but GigLink internet speeds go beyond to offer amazing upload and download speeds, whatever that is. Now everyone at home can download multiple high-definition videos, send and receive emails, and surf the web with no loss of speed. Expand your universe. Data at the speed of light. Squared. Sign up today. Coach, let's talk a little bit about Carrollton. Um, last year, they had some phenomenal athletes on defense. Some of those guys have graduated, but from looking at them on film so far, they look like they've they've got some replacing with some pretty good <laughs> they, players. They do, and they've got tremendous speed. Uh, they got tremendous speed at their wideouts. Uh, the quarterback that had originally transferred to Pace Academy uh, transferred back. You know, the guy that was here from New York last year, mm -hmm. I guess, went back to New York, uh, and this guy can really, really throw the ball well. He. Uh, and they got a new coach. I think that's the thing too, right? Uh, coach the, King came from back from college to Carrollton. He did. You know, he was there for a while. Then he got the Cartersville job, and he had a great run while he was in Cartersville. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. They'll do that. Propelled for him. him into college coaching. That did. And, and he's a good coach. And you know, when he comes back, he's gone back to to Carrollton, uh, and is doing a great job with them down there. Yeah, well, so what does he? What do you think he brings to their offense? I know he's an offensive minded coach. What does he bring to their offense from what you've seen on film? Well, one, he, he can bring a lot of confidence to the quarterback, to the receivers, and he knows the plays to offset some of the things that, they, that they'll see defensively. You know, some of the things that we don't normally think about, you know, in high school football, 
uh, you know, it's great that we'll have some games on him, kind of see what his choices are mm -hmm. uh, to help us to make those adjustments. Watching them on defense, last year they were a 3-3 stack team. They've now switched, transitioned over a 3-4. Schematically, from your point of view, from a 3-3 to a 3-4, what does that do for a defense? Well, really, it has that extra safety because you've got to be able to play multiple coverages. You've got to be, able to, to be able to drop a bunch of guys deep when you need to, and you've got to be able to drop a bunch of guys short to really help with the run. And so by taking out one linebacker and adding in a safety, that gives them the opportunity to do some different things. We were watching last year on their front six, they had uh, the Chambliss kid that went to Georgia, and they had another kid that – I think he ended up at Liberty, but he'd actually been offered by Auburn and Alabama, but he, 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 he chose to go to Liberty. So they had some really good guys up front, but watching them on film today, they've, they've replaced them with some good players. Um, I think for us, that 3-4 – they seem to be able to blitz from everywhere, too. That's that's one thing that, that – They can. They can blitz, from, but now they've got coverage behind right. it. So it's not like they're blitzing now there's an open spot. Right. They've got somebody back there covering it now. I think one thing we've learned about about this region we're in now, everybody's got a good kicker, right? They kick it in yeah. – seems consistently kick it in the end zone. They do, and they did a great job, you know, Friday night of scouting us well. They've kicked it deep, kicked it deep, kicked it deep, and then get us with a short kick. Yeah. And, you know, it's the same things we do to people, right. you know. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a weapon. We've got a week off, and then we'll be back at Harmon Field on the 17th. I believe that's right. It's, a, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be really a real good beginning to this region, and it would be great to have a lot of people out just really so the crowd's into it and really, really for the experience for the guys. It, it would do a great job. All right, very good. So let's take a break, and we'll be back with more Cat and Mountain Football in just a minute. Ford of Dalton, home of the Power Buy, has been voted the best place to buy a new car, the best place to buy a new truck, and the best place to buy a used truck. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go Catamounts! industrial life safety and commercial security experts fire sprinklers fire extinguishers fire alarm systems clean agent suppression systems backflow devices go catamounts asa the life safety company 54 years how do we get here it's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped, helped so, so many people, people along the way and that that is the measure of a man AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red. from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com if you are selling or buying real estate, we are here to help. Colwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding the Dalton community home since 1974. Please contact the number one real estate company in Northwest Georgia for all your real estate needs. Hey folks, Jason Denson, Ford of Dalton, North Georgia's fastest growing dealership and home of the Power Buy. Our new Ford vehicles come with Ford of Dalton's exclusive 10-year, 150,000 mile powertrain warranty at no cost to you. FordofDalton.com. Hope to see you soon.
Well, Coach, we're coming to the end of we've come to the end of week three. It's hard to believe we're three games into the season yeah. already. It's going fast, isn't it? It is. You know, as as an assistant coach, man, it would fly by week after week after week. But now, kind of in this this role here, it just <laughs> seems to drag on. You know, but there's I almost feel like I need to play a game about every three days, and I think I'd be good. Yeah. Friday night we had the uh, quarterback club, of course, applied the buses. Just such a such an advantage for our guys and. It, it is. I mean, when you're traveling two, two and a half hours, you know, it, it's be real difficult to travel on a regular school bus. Yeah. And for us to be able to travel in that way, uh, that's about as best we can, prepared we can be. I thought we had a, had a good uh, crowd of Catamount fans down there. A lot of people made the trip down. It did. It, it, it was good to see, to see that many people there. Uh, and they were active, you know, there as long as you know, there for a little while anyway. That's right. <laughs> Talk a little bit about yeah, – one thing that we, we've seen a uh, group that's become more active with the team and with our coaches was, is the FCA guys. Uh, they provided lunch for the staff uh, on Sunday, just a tremendous uh, opportunity for us to all get together and, and for them to do that. It is, and, and we have a great FCA staff here, and, and Jamie Middleton has taken on that role. Dave Grusnick retired. He did. He retired, and, and – they really work hard to pour into coaches. You know, they understand the demands of coaches. They're, they're going to do some things throughout the year to, to help us be able to spend time as, as a family. And then we have our mainstay, Chuck Harris, who is there I, I, every you know, week for us. He, he's great, you know, and he couldn't be more spot on with his, uh, with his devotion this past Friday. You know, I like he, – he, he, and he doesn't pull any punches with our guys either. No. If they don't play well, he tells them no, that, that he, he does, and he should. <laughs> He lets him know. That's, that's good. And he's brought – Chuck's uh, been great. He's brought watermelons a couple times uh, for the team and brought those guys out there. So that's, that's, been, that's been good as well. It is. And, you know, that helps build relationships. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's still about relationships. It's still about caring about kids. It's still about planting seeds and pointing them in the right direction and hope uh, as we continue to work that, it, that they blossom into the people they need to be. Young guys this week is a JV game against Macaulay. I think that's it. There's no freshman game this mm -hmm. week, uh, but there will be the following week, right? There, there is the following week, yes. All right, very good. We'll close up like we always do. So we'll be back next week. Same cat time, same cat channel.